Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing super well. Today I am back with a Zara haul because they're like new in at the moment. It's just killing it. I feel like they went through like a few months of just, I didn't really buy much from them. Like they didn't really have much nice stuff. It's a bit everywhere and then the sale starts and you know, like I love a good sale, but the Zara sale is too messy for me. I just, I can't, everything's sold out in my size anyway, and they don't have any new in. I just, I don't step foot in Zara for pretty much a whole month when the sale was on, because I can't deal with it. But they're finally bringing in the new stuff now, and everything is stunning. But yeah, I'm going to show you everything I picked up. Of course, I'll try everything on. I'll link it all in the description box in case you want to go pick anything up. You can just go down there, click on the link so it's nice and easy. I'll let you know like sizing and pricing as well. Um, and also, these are not pyjamas in case you think they are loungewear, but they just very much look lamp and pyjamas. I mean, I wore them in front of my parents and they straight up were like, why are you wearing your pajamas out? And I was like, they're not pajamas, mum and dad. They are loungewear. Also, I've got a Tesco delivery coming in the next hour, so I'm just praying I can get through this without them coming like halfway through. I like so that's very awkward because my flat is an absolute mess. I've got the whole ring light, the camera set up. They're gonna come in and be like, what is she doing? So yeah. Okay, first up, I am obsessed. This little jacket, coat, honestly, it's unreal. I just I love everything about it. I don't want to love it because it's like a hundred and how much is it? It's a hundred and ten pounds. So I don't want to love it, but I do. Um, I picked this up in a size large just because I love my coats and jackets quite oversized. But I'm going to try it on for you guys. Let's try her on. I just know already I'm going to love it. Oh, wow. It's so cozy and warm. I'm obsessed, I'm like a little bear in it. The pockets, I really like the size and the oversizedness of it. I think it's, yeah, yeah. This is definitely being kept, even though it's like a hundred pound. But I just think it's like such a cute little cut. I can't, I can't resist, can I? I don't even know what accent that was. One thing about me is I can't do accents, but I will try. But there'll be a combo of about 17 different accents in that one accent. Next up, this little cardigan. Honestly, cardigans at the moment, I'm just so obsessed with. My collection is building by the second. And this one is going straight in there. I mean, I've already worn this and taken the tag off. Um, but I love the kind of black and white contrast um, and the gold buttons. It has little pockets here. I just think it looks really expensive, super chic. I picked this up in a size small. I can't tell you the price because I don't have it on it. This cardigan is adorable. I love it so much. Um, definitely keeping this. I mean, I say I'm definitely keeping it. I've already worn it. Like the, the tag's been off, you know, it's been in my wardrobe for like a week now. I've already got on wear out of it. So I know it was a good choice to keep and I just love it so much. Yeah, this is, this is a tick. Yes, for a tick. Next up is kind of along the lines of the cardigan and it's this gray dress here which I just fell in love with. I think it's so nice. It's gray knitted. I love the pockets. I love the buttons. Um, I picked this up in a size small um, and price wise, does it have a price on it? Where is the price tag? I've got a button. Okay, maybe, maybe I can't find the price. This is the dress on and it's so flattering as well. I love it so much. Although my only issue is that it's quite short on me and I'm like, do I want to commit? my whole time wearing this to pulling it down every two seconds. Like anytime I walk anywhere, anytime I move, it ends up rising up, which yeah, it's very annoying. But if you're not a tall girl, then please go get this dress because I think it is stunning and it will look stunning on you. If you watch my channel for a while or follow me on Instagram, you know I'm a neutrals girl. So you'll be surprised to see some color in this haul, especially like this baggy green color. I'm not sure if this was the right choice, but this little bodysuit is kind of like off the shoulder. It's that slinky material that fits really well. And sizing wise, I picked this up in a small and it was $19.99. This is the green bodysuit on. I think it's such a nice fit. Like this slinky material always is just so flattering on. And I feel like it's a really nice evening, like nighttime vibes. The only thing is it's so restrictive. Like you can't move your arms up from here. Otherwise, as soon as you move your arms up, this happens. It's not the most practical in that sense, but I am that person that if something looks cute, I don't care if it's practical, I will wear it. Just, I'm not sure on the color. Do we like this color? 
like part of me just wants to return it and get like a white version but i'm trying to fight that urge another little jacket honestly i'm like coat and jacket obsessed i have this in grey i picked it up from zara about four or five months ago now and i love it i've worn it so much i think it's such a good jacket so when i saw they bought it out in the cream I was like, I need to have that. So I picked it up. It's £45.99, which I feel like is such a good price for a Zara jacket. And it's really good quality and really thick as well. It keeps you nice and warm. Um, I picked it up in a size large just because I like them quite oversized, like a little boxy fit. But I think it's adorable. The only thing with like white and cream jackets is I 100% get makeup all over them. Like, especially the collar. They're not the most practical. I have seen a tip though, like where you spray hairspray on the collars and apparently your makeup doesn't transfer onto them. So I might have to try that. Okay, next jacket. This is what it looks like on, I just think it's such a good little staple to have in your wardrobe. I mean, I don't know if I need to keep it, it's hard because I've got, this have got the other coat, which I feel like is more of a statement. And because I've got this in the gray already, I'm like, do I need the cream? But I do feel like it's just such a good price for the piece and the other jacket you could only really wear in winter whereas this is more spring vibes as well you could wear it spring autumn even summer like it's quite a good little transitional piece i don't know i need your help let me know in the comments which one i should keep this one or the other coat this little top i haven't actually done it up so it's hard for you to see but there's two little ties here which you tie in little bows and i think it's super cute a really nice kind of creamy white blouse shirt it's like the perfect dressy but still kind of casual you can pair it with jeans um some like trousers or even like a little skirt knee high boots i think would be super chic i have already worn this as well so i don't actually know the price um but i picked it up in the extra small though i will say the arms are quite tight on this so maybe i should have gone for the small but i wanted to wear it so i just like ripped off the tag and wore it anyway so this is what the top looks like on. I think it's super cute. Only thing I will say, these little bows, make sure you double knot them. I wore this out the other night, did not double knot them. And yes, it did come undone. Luckily, I managed to save it. I did not flash anyone. But I just think double knot for the security because we're not trying to get arrested for public indecency. So yeah, but apart from that, I think it's such a cute little like blouse shirt. I think I said in the other clip, I should have probably got the small, not the extra small. Just it feels a bit tight like on the arms under here i feel like i can't really lift my arms up completely next up we have some jeans now you guys know i love um zara jeans but only one style of their jeans that other style of jeans just never fit me don't like but they're kind of like high-waisted wide leg jeans i find always really flattering um so these are high rise full length um wide leg jeans i picked them up in a size eight i think i've got quite a few jeans like these um but in different colors um so i wanted to pick up this pair it's a really nice kind of soft denim as well but still has some structure to it um and they're 35.99 these are the jeans on i just i can't fault the fit of them like i think they're such a good pair of fitting jeans and there's like no gap at the back at the waist so you fit both your waist and your bum really well um you can wear heels with them even if you're a tall girl obviously if you're petite or a bit shorter then they're definitely going to be too long for you but it's a raw hem at the bottom so you could 100% just cut it to like your length no sewing needed nothing just super easy like cut along the bottom so i do think they're good for everyone another jacket because i just couldn't resist now don't worry i'm not going to keep everything like all the hauls i do when i order online i kind of order quite a few bits and then when i get home i can try them on and see what i actually like what i want to keep what i want to return so yeah don't worry i'm not keeping all three like cream and white jackets but i do need your help deciding which one to keep so please do help me in the comments um so this little cropped it's like a little teddy jacket what i loved about this one is the hood i'm just a sucker for a hood i feel like they're so cozy and cute um so this was 49.99 i picked this up in a size small and i think it's a little bit more of like a casual vibes especially with the hood but i really liked it the only thing it is it's kind of molting a little bit i just when i got this out i keep on seeing little bits of fluff in the air so that is not ideal but i'm gonna try it on we'll see what it looks like right last of the jackets is this little teddy one 
Ooh, I love the hood. It's so cute. Yeah, I, I mean, I do love it. I love the croppedness of it. I think it's definitely more casual than the other ones. But like I said in the last clip, there are loads of bits of fluff like floating around from even just like putting this on. So yeah, I'm not sure about that. And I do think out of all the jackets, the other two are more versatile in that you can wear them a bit smarter, but you could also wear them casual. Whereas this one, I feel like is defo on the casual side. So I think out of all of them, this would be the one I would rule out. But yeah, help me decide in the comments, please. Even though I buy like so many nice bits of clothes, do I still wear joggers and loungewear 99% of the time? Absolutely. So I picked up these little joggers here. They're like a wide leg jogger. I love a wide leg jogger. I feel like they look a bit more chic than the ones that are like cuffed at the bottom. And Zara actually do really good ones. I have a pair of gray ones. I have like blue ones from there as well. Um, so I saw these in the camel and I really, really like them. They have a seam running down the front um, and I picked these, I picked them up in a size large. I always get my tracksuits in a bigger size because I love that oversized fit and I am tall as well, I'm five foot nine. I tend to size up so they're long enough for my legs um, and because they have a drawstring like you can, you can tighten the waist, it's all good. Um, and they were $22.99. So these are the joggers on, I just think they're such a nice like oversized fit, the kind of perfect joggers to wear you know just lounging around the house but then you can also wear them out doing errands super comfy 100% keeping these i feel like i will wear them to death the only thing i dislike about them is that they don't have pockets like come on zara every every pair of joggers or even trousers everything needs pockets i i am a pocket sack i want to put my hand somewhere but but i can't you know what do you do with your hands you end up just talking like this which is what i pretty much do the whole entire video because I can't not talk with my hands, but that's why pockets are invented. Because if I had pockets, I could put my hands in my pockets and just, you know, talk like this, like a normal person. I've got some boots as well. So these are like knee high boots, um, but they're like a chunky flat boots. I have quite a few pairs of like chunky heel knee high boots, but I don't have any flat ones. So I wanted some that I could wear in the day, a bit more casual. So I picked up these. I don't know if they're the perfect ones. I don't know if they're a bit too chunky on the foot because I do want to be able to wear them like quite smart as well but I thought I'd try them on I think price wise do I have a tag on these somewhere where is the tag aha these were $59.99 so I've got on the knee high boots I'm not sure about them I just don't know if they're too chunky on the sole because ideally I wanted a pair that I could kind of dress up with like dresses like this and it look a bit smarter and I don't know if these Look a bit like chunky and casual and they don't really go with the dress because the dress is quite smart i'm not sure i might keep my eyes open for other knee-high boots that are maybe less so so that's the end of this Zara haul i really hope you enjoyed this video let me know what your favorite items were in the comments um and i hope to see you guys all soon bye